Engstrom's theory of expansive learning is based on the cultural historical activity theory. In this video, we will explain the activity theory and the concepts which constitute it. A number of psychologists helped develop the theory from individual learning to the point of interorganizational learning. The activity theory is visualized in the form of a triangle. The subjects in the activity theory is a person or group from which viewpoint the analysis of the activity system is done. Take for example this doctor, who works in a neurology department of a hospital. In the activity system, the subject works towards the object of a system. This object is a raw material or problem space at which the activity is directed and which is transformed into outcomes. In the case of a neurologist, the objects are the patients and their illnesses. The outcomes of this activity will be to cure them or to improve their health. To transform the objects into outcomes, the subject will need help of instruments, which can be tools or signs. For a doctor, this can be his knowledge of the brain or his know-how of surgical interventions, but also the operating tools and the operation room. Then there is a community in which the activity takes place. This community consists of members with the same object. In our hospital, the neurology department is a community for the doctor. Between the members of the community, there is a division of labor. In the horizontal division of labor, the tasks are being divided among the subjects. The vertical division of labor is directed towards power and status. In the doctor's case, the horizontal division of labor can be a divide of different patients over the different neurologists in the department. The vertical division of labor will be that the nurses take care of the patient's basic needs and basic medical treatment, while the doctors perform the surgery. Finally, the activity system has its own rules. These rules are procedures, norms and conventions that make the members behave in a particular way. In the hospital, one of the rules is that you cannot the system is working, we can explain how inter-organizational learning can happen. First, we need at least two activity systems. For example, in our, in our hospital, it can be that the neurology department has to work together with the oncology department. Second, when two or more activity systems are interacting with each other, they will have a shared object. If we go back to our example, this could be a patient who has a brain tumor. The two activity systems will have to work together to solve this problem. This concludes the end of our video on the activity theory. We hope you enjoyed this video and we hope to see you soon.